What? What's? What's going on guys? We're back again with another bang up PlayStation 5 tutorial. I know a lot of you guys out there, you might have your PlayStation 5. You might have your mobile smartphone device, whether that be Android or iOS. But I know the majority of you guys that clicked on this video don't have access to things such as a computer or even a USB drive to easily transfer files between your PlayStation 5 and another device. So that's why I created this video here to not just know how to record gameplay off your PlayStation 5, but transfer it directly to your mobile device. No USB, no computer required for this method. All you're gonna need is your PlayStation and your mobile phone. Are you ready? Let's go. To record the gameplay that you'll eventually move over to your mobile device, you're going to first want to press the create button on the PlayStation 5 controller. From there, scroll over to the far right option and within here you can set the video format and the resolution for your video clips that you'll record. Since you guys are going to be moving these video clips over to your mobile device, I would just keep these at 1920 by 1080 resolution. In addition to that, you have the option to turn on the microphone that's connected to your PlayStation 5, which will overlay as your commentary. And you also have the option to include the party chat audio of people you're playing with. If you go back over to the left, this is where you can select the option to start a new recording. If you go two more options over, this is where you can save your recent gameplay, which you can also set within your settings for how long you want this recent gameplay to last. Within those same settings, you can change your button mapping for the create button, but I've left mine to default, which allows me to easily double tap the create button to save my last 30 seconds of gameplay. Now that you have your gameplay recorded, you are set to begin moving it to your mobile phone. So how do you do that? Well, first you're gonna wanna go back into your create settings Scroll over to the far left where you see that thumbnail icon and within here you'll see your last 15 video clips or screenshots that you've taken on the PlayStation 5. You can even cycle through your recent captures by selecting the R1 and L1 controls. Once you've found the clip that you'd like to move over to your mobile device, go ahead and select the share icon and then from here you're going to want to select the YouTube option with your linked account. Next, you can change the title and the description to whatever you'd like, but the main thing that you wanna pay attention to is to have the video unlisted because we're gonna to need to download this video after we've uploaded it to our channel. Once that's good to go, go ahead and select Upload. Now, in the case you have some older clips that you'd like to transfer over that aren't appearing in your recent captures, then just go ahead to the Media Gallery app and then within here, find your desired clip and then select the options button on the PS5 controller and then select share. From there, just upload it to YouTube like I just showed. Now keep in mind, you can't select multiple video clips to upload to YouTube all at once. You have to do it one at a time. Now that my PS5 clip is uploaded to YouTube, I can now head over to my mobile device. And then from here, you're gonna to wanna to launch the YouTube app and then head over to the far right bottom icon that says library. Within there, you'll see a section called your videos. Go ahead and select that. And then you'll see the clip that I just uploaded, this Rocket League clip. Um, so all I'm gonna do now is select the three dotted icon and then select share and then copy. Now before we get into the next step of this video, just as a disclaimer, it is illegal to download copyrighted content from YouTube. The intention of this video is to show people how to download their own YouTube videos. If you're planning on downloading any other type of content, please get consent from the creator first. Okay. With that out the way, if you're on an iPhone, go ahead and launch the Safari app. If you're on an Android device, go ahead and use the Google app. And what you're gonna wanna search up is YT1S. Search that up and then go ahead and select the first link. And then within here, scroll over on that top banner and select YouTube to MP4. And then within here, just go ahead and paste that link that we just copied from the YouTube app. Done, and then convert MP4. And then within a moment, you'll see it pop up. And then just go ahead and select download. In case something pops up, just go ahead and go back to the window that you were on. You might have to click forward or backwards using your directional arrows. But the next time that you click the download button, you'll have an option that pops up saying, do you want to download this clip essentially? And then just go ahead and select download. 
and you'll see that icon in the top right hand side showing that it has downloaded something. So once it's complete, you can go ahead and select that icon and you'll see your recent downloads. I'll just select that Rocket League clip. And then once I've clicked on it, I can play it if I'd like to. And uh, now all I need to do is just select that upload icon on the far left, bottom left side there. Select that and then within here, if I scroll down, I can just select save video. Now if I go into my photos app on my iPhone, you can see that I have the video right here. And now that it's on my phone, I can throw it into any video editor that I'd like to on my mobile device. For all the other clips that you want to transfer over as well, it's just going to be a rinse and repeat cycle with what I showed you in this video. But this is one of the best ways to do it. I'm hoping an update will come eventually to the YouTube Creator Studio app on the mobile devices so that you can download these clips to your phone with ease. Right now, you can't do that. You can do it on the desktop, but you, you just can't do it on mobile. So they need to update that feature so that people don't have to keep going to other sites to download their own video clips. Now, if some of you guys out there have a little bit of extra money to spare, I recommend picking up a USB phone flash drive. It doubles as a regular USB device, but also works on your iPhone or Android device. I'm not being paid to promote these flash drives. They're just super convenient to use if you wanna move over a bulk load of video clips from your PlayStation to your mobile device or even to your computer. If you guys wanna see how that flash drive works in action, I made a whole dedicated video on it right here in the card above. So go check out that video if you wanna see how it works. But other than that, I'm gonna leave it there, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit it with a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Also leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever. I will try to get back to you. All my socials linked below as well. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.